Cool, what's up guys? Justin here with the CG Essentials, back with another Blender Quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to import a reference image that we can use to model different things inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so importing an image can be really important for modeling a lot of different kinds of objects because we're going to use reference, um, we're going to use reference photos a lot in order to get symmetry and shapes and ratios correct so that things look more realistic inside of our model. Models. So inserting an image into Blender is fairly simple. You just find the image that you want to bring in, and I'm going to go ahead and delete out my default cube, first of all. So I'm just going to hit delete, and notice that we're in object mode. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to take the image, we're just going to drag it from our folder into Blender. So when you drag it over, you can see how this gets brought into your model. And one issue that we have with this is when we drag this image in, you're going to notice that it's aligned with whatever your camera view was when you first dragged it in. So the only problem with this is it's not aligned with any of the axes. So that means that none of your default viewports really align with it. Um, you can see how none of these really line up with that image. And so what we want to do is before we bring this in, I'm going to go ahead and delete this back out. Before we bring this image in, what we want to do is we want to align our camera with the view that we want this to um, come in along. So for example, if I was to tap 1 on my numpad, this is going to align my camera with the uh, red and, uh, and blue axes. Well now, if I take this image and I bring it in, this is going to be aligned with these axes. So now, if I look at this and I rotate around, you can see how this is standing up, straight up and down. So now we can look at it and we can come in here and we can start adding different models and different things like that. So we can start working on this. And if you wanted to, you could take this and you could duplicate it. So I'm going to do a shift D to duplicate and I'm going to right click. And so when I right click, notice this creates a copy of this. And these are coming into your model as empties. So if you're looking for them, that's what they're going to be labeled. But in this situation, we can then take this and we can just rotate it by by tapping the R key, we can just set the axis that we want to rotate along. So in this situation, I want to rotate this along the blue axis, so I would tap the Z key. Then I would just type in a value of 90 in order to rotate this 90 degrees. So now we can take this and we can look at it from a front view and a side view, just like this. And then you could come in here and align these as well. So you would just uh, tap the G key and I would move this along the Z axis and you'd probably want to do that from the front view. Then you'd move it along the z-axis and then you would move it along the y-axis. So just tap the G key and then tap Y to, to lock this along that axis. And you can see how you can use this to align these images. So I can align these up and down as well as along this axis. So you would have both of these in here so that you could actually work from the reference photos. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought was as helpful to you. Are there other things you'd like to learn how to do in Blender? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.